My name is Amber Gove, and I'm from New Hampshire. I'm with the United Church of Christ. Um, I'm with, I guess, I'm going to say the Wilmot Congregational Church. We joined a group. Um, it's a combined of UCC churches for the week. It is. Well, I live in the country, so this is a very big city for me. I, I was a little bit familiar with Back Bay Missions because my church uh, uh, supports them. Um, so it's been a good experience to be able to see, like, personally what it's all about. You know, we see it on YouTube and stuff like that, but it, it's been nice to be involved with it. I'm here to volunteer as um, my hair cutting services because I own a salon in New Hampshire and I find that oftentimes that's a well needed service. And um, I've really enjoyed getting to know some of the people that I got to do haircuts on. I, I was kind of, it was interesting to find out that not, I figured they would mostly be generally from Mississippi, but they're from like even New England and throughout. So it was interesting to see kind of hear some of their stories too. Yeah, there, there's been two that kind of stick out to mind. Um, I met this 21 year old male and um, he really, he wants to like move forward and um, progress with like a job and things like that. But he comes from a very traumatic background and he's trying to work through a lot of those situations that, you know, from the trauma. So it was, that was hard to hear and like to see how strong he is at his age and you know how he, he's really doing pretty well and has like a good goal mindset moving forward. I would say he, he was one that kind of hit close to the heart. And then I, I recently just cut a female there who's around my age in her 40s and she was hesitant, like a lot of anxiety, but once I cut her hair, you could see like the letdown and she was relaxed and then she was like just opening right up and talking and thank you, thank you, you make me feel so good, you know, uh, I feel much better with my haircut. I, I feel like my profession, we're pretty lucky because we have the ability to change on how someone feels about themselves and make their day brighter. Sure, um, I've done uh, disaster relief and I've done um, working with the unsheltered. That's primarily what I've done for travel. And I've been anywhere from like in France to Guatemala to in-state. And it's been really nice learning the different cultures. I find that every organization, I feel like with Back Bay Missions, like you guys have it together. <laughs> it's very well organized and thought out. and. There's a lot of support services for the unsheltered, and um, I, I, I'm very impressed with it. Well, and I've always been some kind of a form of caretaking, but growing up, I grew up in the system, and I felt like people took care of me, and this is my chance to give it back. That's awesome. I can't always do monetarily, but I have time to give. So I would say. It changes your way of thinking for the better. It opens your eyes and heart to new experiences and uh, skills learned. And there isn't a day that I've done a mission trip and I haven't walked away with something. Whether it be like learning how to use a sawzall or learning um, even more kindness and stuff, generosity, you know. It, it's amazing. It, for me, it fills my heart. So.